In this clip, I talk with a viewer about their problem with Elasticsearch and local development and why maybe they're seeing the cluster health show yellow. Uh, Justin Kramer, hello. Long shot here as it is a bit off topic, but I am running two Elasticsearch containers for a dev environment yesterday with no changes status went from green to yellow any thoughts as where to start looking uh, <laughs> um yes so you didn't change anything so there are urls in well first thing right look at the container logs the status in elasticsearch is an endpoint url that you can go check so if you look up i mean and i'm not sure how much you know about um Elasticsearch, so for everyone's edification, Elasticsearch, a database for searching, for storing uh, search data and retrieving search data, and its its interface is an HTTP interface. Uh, let's see, Elasticsearch health URL. So there are URLs for the cluster, and you can ping or uh, get to certain URLs to get data about the, the status, and there's multiple URLs. So it's not really a great troubleshooting mechanism, but it might shed a little bit of light um, on pulling from different URLs. And it's more there's more than just cluster health. There's other um, health stuff under the APIs. And what I will know uh, off, off the top of my head is that if you have one Elasticsearch node, or if you have multiple Elasticsearch nodes that don't have every shard replicated, then that's when it goes re yellow because the one of the ways that a cluster will turn yellow is when you don't have data replicated in some way for high availability. So one of the challenges I have is when I'm testing, I'll, sometimes I'll just be testing with a single Elasticsearch container, and that container will always be status yellow as far as I remember um, because none of the data on there is replicated to a different Elasticsearch node, right? So I don't really care about that because I'm developing, but one of the challenges with that is if you enable health checks inside your Docker images and in your containers, then the, the health check will technically fail and could, could cause problems for you during, during development. So I have to turn those off when I'm doing development inside of Docker Compose. I can actually just go in and disable the health check in my Compose file. That way, if it's ever yellow, which it usually is for me, it won't um, it won't be an issue. The other potential raise right away that I think the cluster health would be yellow. Um, I don't think space would be an issue for you. I I'm really thinking it's probably replicated data that you have some sort of shard of data that either uh, doesn't have a replica on the other instance or is not syncing properly or something. And I would think that your logs, your Elasticsearch logs would help you clue in on that. So off the top of my head, hopefully that helps. I don't know if I'm right or not, but uh, good luck. Yeah, okay, Justin. Um, yeah, the cluster health helped me. Looks like only the primary node is storing shards. Great. <laughs> it's always great when we can end the same hour of the episode we can find a problem and find a solution. So good job, Justin. Uh, you get a you get an internet high five for that. Thanks for watching. You can click subscribe and the notification bell to get an alert when I go live, so you can join and ask your DevOps and Docker questions. You can watch some of my other videos over there, and you can do what I'm about to do and just go take a nap. <laughs>